welcome to the Scandinavian House at Cannes 2022. I'm Wendy Mitchell. I'm talking to some amazing Nordic filmmakers. We have one of our favorites from Iceland here, Lena Palmason with Godland. Congratulations. Thank you. You've been in Cannes before. You know what to do. But this film is up the big red carpet, right? Yeah. Yes. Uncertain regard selection. Um, do you get nervous before you show it? I get very excited, okay. and uh, when I'm in the cinema, my heart is like almost pumping out of my chest. So, so I get very excited. Okay, excited is good. Yeah, uh, a very beautiful film. Um, I love in the beginning of the film. There's a little note that this uh, there was this box of photographs yeah. discovered. And this is true. It's a fictional film. Yes, uh, and and it was fictional. It was something that. Um, that I made up very early, so it's true if you if you get lost in the film. Okay. But if you uh, Google it and you try to find the box, you'll probably not Maybe find it. Maybe the box doesn't exist. <laughs> I like this. This is the beauty of filmmaking magic. Yeah. But why was this a story you wanted to tell? I think it's very interesting because it. Maybe tell some very uneasy history between Denmark and Iceland. And you yourself, you, you were born in Iceland, but you lived in Copenhagen for a while. You went to the Danish film school. Yeah. You live back in Iceland now. Why was some of this history something you wanted to explore in your own way? I really wanted to work with the two places that I know so well. And I mean, I am shaped by both Denmark and Iceland. And I, I wanted to make a film that worked with both story, the the history we have together, which is rich, mm. and it is, I mean, it's not that far ago we were under the Danish crown. Mm. I mean, it's not far at all. Uh, and and I think that means something, and I think it's there are a lot of things to explore. The language, the miscommunication of language, all of these opposites of the country and the landscape and are, are, are things that I, I, I find, find very f filmable. Mm. They are very, like, they're very. Uh, I, I, I found it very easy to create experiences around that those these opposites, mm. and and I think that's what we did with the whole film. It's very much about that. This is also a very. It's an intimate story of people, mm. but it it looks so epic. Yeah. This is, I think, the most beautiful film I've seen in Cannes. Just the visuals of it. Can you talk a little bit about the visual style you wanted to do, and also just the aspect ratio and how it yeah. looks? I'm I'm always trying you know, different things out, uh, testing aspect ratios, testing, you know, lenses and films. And I, I became very fond of the 35 millimeter four perf, the sort of the whole image. Mm. Um, and even more when I saw the the frames, the sort of uh, curves on the mm. edges, which I find very beautiful. And it also connected very much to the format of Lucas, mm. his format, the way he sees the world through his camera. Mm. which is almost the same format as, as we are filming in the film. Yeah. So it was kind of like, just very like, um, it felt very easy to, mm. to, to, we all sort of accepted this is the format. Right. Um, and and I, I mean, I began shooting some of the scenes for the film, you know, two, hour, two years before. Okay, we, wow. We, uh, we shot, you know, what do you call it, the principal photography uh. or... So it was, it was, uh, we've had the format for a long, long time. Yes, you have quite a process that I like. <laughs> the actors are also spectacular, and you're working with um, actors, most of whom you've worked with before. And, yeah. You know, Ingvar Sigurdsson, the great Icelandic actor, Vic Kormansson, and Elliot Crossett Hove mm -hmm. from Denmark. Um, what do you enjoy about returning and deepening a relationship with those actors? But it is actually the deepening that you're talking about is what I what I like. I think I could spend easily a lifetime of of doing films with them, and films about things that I'm interested in, family and uh, and uh, or surroundings, and and still find myself just scratching the the mm. what do you call it the, the surface the surface, you know. Mm. So I think I think um, they just inspire me to write things because I know I can push them quite far. I know that I can make these long scenes and uh, I, I know there's just, they just stimulate me to, to write better. Mm. And I think that's sort of, it's always good when you have someone and uh, you, have, you have someone to write to. So 
you know you have to deliver them something that they are interested in or like mm. or find would like to explore it with you mm. and i think that gives me just a really nice energy mm. and i mean uh, and i just love them you know yeah. so they're like family i guess they're like family you know and speaking of family your daughter Ida is again uh, yeah. one of the actors in in this project. Um, I met her. I remember meeting her on the set of A White White Day. Yeah. And she was a kid. Yeah. Then. Yeah. And she now was, she yeah. you said, told me she's thirteen now. Yeah. I mean, she's very soulful in this film. It's, you know, it must be quite strange for you as a father to, a father and a director to see her sort of growing up before your eyes. I mean, you know, how did you work with her on this film? I can feel her grow. Yeah. And I can feel her also grow into. Uh, you know, an actress and, mm. and a filmmaker, and um, and I, I find myself just very much like working with her, you know. And if if I take aside that she's my daughter, I just really like what she's doing mm. on the screen. I think she's doing also just something that it's, it's kind of truthful for me. Mm. It just feels very honest, and sometimes you just really want someone to be present, and I think she does that in a like really nice way mm. and I can write very complex scenes with her and she's like I mean my mind is mush and I can't remember <laughs> anything but she's really good at reacting but still having all of these lines mm. like the when she's translating but react like reacting and wow. it's very nice um, but she's also a 13 year old girl so I'm wondering yeah. has she picked out a dress for the big premiere, yeah. I mean, is she excited? Does she enjoy that part of it? Yeah, I think she she thinks it's fun, but I think mostly she's looking forward to like meeting all the filmmakers like that she was with, you know. And I mean, she loves like uh, the grip and and the tech technical crew and you know and and the costumes and makeup and like all of these filmmakers. She's just mostly looking forward to. To, to being around them. You said she might want to be a filmmaker. We, do you think we'll see her at Cannes 2038, Ida's uh, first debut film here? Do you I don't hope? know. Yeah. I, I think she talks more about horses right now. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I mean, she, she enjoys it, but I mean, she has to decide herself. I She's think. 13. Let's She's not 13. push her into Let's anything. Not push it. Yes. No. Um, and what about you? Do you enjoy walking the red carpet and, and that kind of thing? You're. Or can you get through that to get to the moment of seeing the film with an audience? I mean, I only have one experience here with, with uh, A White White Day, which was a great one. Mm. And I, I mean, I, I think you really need a good start. A film like this really needs a good start. Mm. We need to have a place where people take it seriously and, you know, and see it in a, a nice cinema. And if you do that, um, the next two years for it, you know, it, it can create a good life for it. And I think that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to create a good life for something mm -hmm. that we really like. Yeah. And um, and if it helps, you know, you know, all of these small things, uh, I think that's that's worth doing. And, yeah, it's uh, the best life for the film. It's as fun. You say. It's and fun. do you have any fun while you're here in Cannes, or is it lots of this? Yeah, it's it's a lot of work, <laughs> uh, but it's very nice. And I, it's a it's a big contrast to. To what I'm doing normally, <laughs> I mean, I'm basically, you know, in my hometown, um, filming a little, painting a little. Okay. So it's 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 a good contrast. Yes, and maybe a little bit more sunshine here than in East Iceland. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah it's pouring rain when I went away. Okay, so, so enjoy the sunshine. Uh, best you, of Wendy. luck in launching this really beautiful film. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here, and thanks everybody for joining us.